that I wanted to show you sort of the finished product. This is uh, the Local Magic default template scan. When you order this package, you actually get three template scans. Uh, the default, which you see, uh, there's also an alt version with a slightly different color scheme, as well as a wide version with, where I actually uh, increase the width here of the opt-in form. So uh, that's what I'm going to demonstrate today. I'm going to build the opt version for you to see, uh, excuse me, build the, the wide version for you to see here live. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab here uh, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to load up the site I've created which is a brand new site I created on cPanel you can see it's got the default uh, WordPress theme installed so I'm going to go ahead and begin the process of building uh, the site here For you, I'm going to load Jumpstart Pro as well as the beta version of the software and uh, finally the theme itself. So, to do that, I'm going to go to Plugins, Add New, and Upload. Okay, so I've already got the software downloaded here under Jumpstart Pro. So I'll just click on that, click install now. And what the uh, installer is doing now is it's transferring the contents of the package up to my website and I can just click on the activate plugin link and now it's done. So I can preview my site here and I can see that it's just installed um, all of the um, contents for my website that I'll need on a base website which is an about us page, contact us, earnings disclaimer, privacy policy etc. So you can see all of that is included here and really all I did was install the plugin. I haven't built anything or had to do any design or anything. It's showing the default canvas theme with a slider widget in place. Again all of this is uh, easily configurable but instantly installed into your into your new WordPress site. So, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the plugin because we don't need it anymore. Uh, it's done its job. I'm going to go ahead and delete it so I don't have any extra things laying around. I don't need. I actually don't need any of these plugins either. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I may need a Kismet later, but uh, in any event, I'm going to go here to click bump five, which you see on the left hand side, and you can see that it's running. Uh, the latest version that was installed in Jumpstart, which is version 5.5 DD. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that to the beta 3.6 version, which is required for this local magic uh, template scan. So I'm going to go ahead and click install there. Uh, actually, let me try that again. Okay, upgrade C5. I need to uh, enter my dashboard login here and choose file okay and I'll pull this uh, screen over smaller so you can see what I'm doing here so I've got the unzip to desktop file here and this is the file I'm going to be uploading click up upgrade.zip uh, click install and it will transfer over and now I'm going to click apply. Now this is the important thing. Once you have uploaded uh, the, the installer, uh, you can see that it shows the current version here, but the last thing you need to do is click apply changes and that actually sets the um, this custom CSS that comes with this particular version that you need to do. So every time you upgrade your site you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just click apply changes and then you're ready to preview your site. So um, again, we haven't really changed anything other than, so we don't expect anything to change here uh, other than that we put the demo version up. But what I want to do at this point is I want to go ahead and you can see I've got the two default templates here. I want to go ahead and click this add upgrade templates 
and this time I'm going to be loading the theme itself okay and so I'm going to go up one directory and I've got localmagic.zip here and that's the actual template file I'm going to be loading so I'm going to go ahead and click install there doing a lot of things here but I wanted to show you how you can install this from scratch from a brand new website um, to get this going so um, I'm going to go ahead and choose local magic wide here okay and you can see it changes here it gives me a preview and also the default colors change to match that particular templates default color so I can then click apply changes and I'm gonna go ahead and preview the the site to show you that it's changed but you're not going to uh, we're obviously not going to be finished because we haven't done a lot of things we need to with the uh, with the website so you can see that everything is in place here uh, but it does look a little bit different from the preview here because we haven't really um, we haven't really added this main widget here which is the opt-in form so to do that I'm gonna go to the widgets panel here and I'm gonna start configuring some things here so I'll expand the sidebar tab over here and I'm not gonna need the search uh, I'm not gonna need the default uh, text the default opt-in uh, or this sidebar widget. I'm going to drag all of those off and I am going to look down here into the uh, widgets panel and I'm gonna, if I collapse this maybe I can see three actually this is not wide enough to see three columns so what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for C5 lead gen which is here so I'm going to grab that pull it on over and it has you can see it has a default Aweber um, script uh, the opt-in script. So if you're using Aweber, there's not much else uh, to do here other than fill in your values, which we'll do later for your list name and for your redirect if you have one. Otherwise, you can just take that out, um, etc. So all of your all of your default Aweber uh, information is already here for you, and you just fill in the blanks. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save on that. Now go back to the website and refresh and now you can see I've got a, a lot more closer view of the uh, template as in the screenshot and I can actually change these slider images and uh, as well as change this information that I see here the submit button everything is ready to go and if I clicked it you would actually see it goes to Aweber but it tells me that I'm missing some fields uh, in this example the email field is required so I could actually fill in this information uh, I can fill it in from my defaults and you see it's automatically filled in for me here and I get a nice feedback on the on the uh, that the fields are all filled in but when I remove one it gives me the, the hint again so I can see what I'm supposed to do so that's a quick overview of the installation process for this particular template and you can see how quickly we can have an opt-in lead generation site up and running uh, in just a few minutes